today i'll be going to teach you guys on how to render this uh, science fic model so basically i had downloaded this model from 3d bros you can uh, you guys can search for radial space uh, fighter and download it from 3d bros so uh, the model is very awesome so thanks to the author and modeler of this uh, science fic model so now we'll go to keyshot click on file import now click on the file open click on import uh, finally the model is been imported but it is in wrong position so let's correct the position so what we'll do is click on the model move then just tilt then go here and enter minus 90 now click on center snap to ground okay yeah now guys since we we want only this part of the image rendered image so we will not worry about uh, this one applying material on back side or we'll be not at all worrying how it looks from back or side so our main focus is on front side and one more thing if your system is very slow you guys can use this option performance mode so if you click on performance mode this is how it looks and this is how it appears and keyshot will um, use very less resource from your pc but since mine is workstation so i will uh, use it without performance mode so i'll click here now we'll start applying materials so as you can see on the uh, left side we have plenty of uh, materials based upon the categories and all so what i'll do i'll just go with metallic paint so click on metal click on this one just drag and drop simple again we use the same material here yes now we use the same material here also now for this part what we will do is we will use aluminium center part we will apply glass material so what we will do we will go to glass select basic glass apply simple now what we will do is for this one go to paint select this apply here and for this uh, rails what we will do is will give uh, will be uh, this one will use metallic itself and the same material yeah now we'll see how it looks and we'll see whether uh, we need to make any changes here mm, okay as if you guys if you observe here we have forgot to apply material so we will go to aluminium apply here yeah. same way just observe if we if you guys have missed any and this one uh, material if you have forgotten apply material now i will click on here yeah almost done Just rotate. So 
so here again go to aluminium apply now for this number what we we'll do is we go to paint we'll apply glossy yeah otherwise even you guys can use car paint or metal paint so i'll use this one Otherwise, we'll use mat. Ah, mat looks bit better. So this rest, this part, since it it will not be visible, so we won't worry. Now, what we'll do is we'll apply material for this also. Go to mat. as you guys you guys can see there is a material inside uh, in this part so we will apply material for that also yes so now we we'll zoom out guys if you observe this part also got material applied so what we, you guys can do is just select click on this part and uh, that uh, uh, this one part will get highlighted on your right side in the scene section then what you guys can do is you can change the material you can just drag uh, example i will use black color just drag and click on this one simple but what we'll do is we'll use same material example if i use uh, this gray color here then we'll also use same gray color here okay yeah. next what we we'll, what we'll do is we'll change the environment now if you guys want to change any material or if you want to or uh, if you are satisfied then we'll go to then you guys can move to next uh, this one uh, settings that is environment go here click on occlusion Uh, you don't have to use this ground reflection because a uh, ground uh, reflection if you are take uh, this one if you select ground reflection if you observe here i will use a uh, glossy material and i will show you can see uh, this one closer reflection ground reflection but we don't want this so since we are concentrating only on uh, this one top part here so we don't want a reflection at all ground reflection and it looks over now what we'll do is we'll go to environment Select. I uh, have over here this one here. Plenty of uh, interior, outdoor, studio, sun and sky HDRs. If you want, you guys can download it from HDRIHaven.com. Now, if if you are comfortable with present HDRI, then you can go ahead with uh, uh, this one rendering. I'll show you how it is done. Click on if you are satisfied with current settings, then click on this render option. Again, render. and again render now the image will start to render i mean the uh, this one now will be able to get uh, uh, highly realistic rendered image so the render has uh, begun 
so now what i will do i'll just cancel this stop i'll show you other settings now what i will do i'll select this one now if you if you uh, this one rotate here you, you guys can see the uh, even reflection on this uh, entire model on this metallic part also gets changed If you are satisfied with current HDRI, then you can use this one, or else you can again go with the new one. Example, if I click uh, this one, so what I will do is I will go to outdoor and select this one. Yeah. Now you guys can see since it is outdoor, so you will be having uh, uh, sun settings and all, sun lighting and all, so it looks very awesome. Now, if you are satisfied with this aluminium material, then you can proceed with rendering, or if you, at this particular point, if you want to change the material then you can go to material and now instead of aluminum we will see we uh, will uh, try to use chrome and we will see how it looks since uh, chrome is very this one glossy and shiny so uh, this one due to reflection and all you, you guys can see there is a kind of darkness here so we will better use aluminium itself and if you guys uh, you guys can do this one uh, lots of uh, permutation and combination with different materials so even if i click on outside here it looks awesome chrome but otherwise i can use chrome as well so it doesn't look good okay now go to lighting here we have a list of presets basic product interior jewelry so now what i will do is i will click on product you guys can see there is some changes with the lighting earlier uh, this uh, red uh, yellow kind of stuff was not visible i'll just show you again if i click on basic you can see it is quite uh, it is bit darker here that red and uh, yellow stuff it is not uh, clearly visible but if i click on product now that red part and all is clearly visible because in product what happens lighting uh, will be more now if i click on interior it looks like this now based on uh, your uh, this one liking and uh, uh, your system's uh, speed and performance you can select a basic product or interior whichever is feasible for you guys so what i will do is if you guys can observe i have forgot to apply material here so what i will do is i will just go to metal Whereas I'll go to paint this time. Gloss, uh, black color gloss. I'll apply here. Yeah. And uh, what I will do is I'll 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 see whether uh, this glossy black looks better on this outer outer part. So we'll see how it looks. Yeah, it looks awesome. brand new stuff so now i'll go to image 
you guys can see here there are two options one is basic and one is photography so you guys might uh, wonder what different does uh, this two option have so if i click on photography you guys can see there is some changes in the lighting and if you observe here in basic it'll be uh, uh, this one will uh, get options like adjustments denoise blue all these but if you click on photography you will get curve color these two options extra so if you click on curve so you can make changes as per your uh, requirement and if you click on uh, color you can make changes as per your requirement. example if i go i can make a uh, change as per my wish then i can go to vibrance right now i make particular settings and bloom is nothing but if you click here what we we'll do is we we'll go to radius you guys can see here you guys can observe here how it looks kind of glow i can say so uh, for me as of now i don't feel to use this blue so will not use now render render so it has started to render and as per my calculations i feel that it may take around uh, 10 to 12 minutes now this is already 10% as you guys can see here and this is how it looks now imagine that Uh, at this uh, the 10% itself if you guys feel that okay this is enough for me this particular render the images i am quite satisfied and i would like to save this image so, but the rendering is going on so what you have to do is you can you guys can click on save and it you can uh, specify the location or else you can cancel here click on this option stop here you will get two option one is stop and save and other is stop so if you click on stop the image will uh, not be saved but if you click on stop and save the rendering will stop and at the same time at this particular position example uh, this one as you can see it is 17% so at 17% whatever the uh, percentage of uh, this one no uh, rendering is done so it will be saved so what i'll do is i'll click on stop otherwise i'll show you stop and save if you it it will be saved on this location so i'll click here so okay it is saved here this is the one and uh, this image i had rendered uh, before completed so i had waited it until uh, it uh, gets completed 200% so you guys can see the clarity um, uh, and uh, there is no uh, this one kind of noise nothing very smooth fantastic uh, this one output so and uh, this uh, this one particular uh, 
rendered image to around 12 minutes to render and uh, yeah and these are all my previous uh, rendered uh, images this i had rendered in uh, keyshot itself using car model yeah i hope you guys uh, liked my this one tutorials please like my videos sub and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day